Hey YouTube, King Heathen here, and uh, I got my first piece of hate mail today. <laughs> Great. Well, that's actually not really hate mail, I don't guess you'd say, but uh, uh, the guy obviously didn't like what I had to say. Uh, I want to read it to you. Um, uh, it says, uh, the problem with most atheists, including yourself, is that you believe in morals. However, there is no proof that anyone should follow any moral code, but at the same time, atheists attack slash criticize religions. So atheists, from the standpoint of religious people, are hypocritical. Atheists, by their own logic, cannot prove that things can be done, should or should not be done. Um, everything is just everything. Everything is just is. Labeling something good or bad doesn't change anything. Sure, people don't want to be killed, don't want to be robbed, don't want to be oppressed, but since it is possible for all of these things to happen there is no proof that we ought not do these things there may be good reason not to such as not willing bad things unto yourselves but ultimately there is nothing wrong with anything yet given this fact many atheists bitch and complain of being mistreated as if that is wrong maybe I've made some false assumptions I'd be interested if you could win me over so I propose this challenge to you Prove to everyone using science slash nature slash facts that us humans are supposed to have a certain way or follow a moral code. Please don't make the mistake of providing a reason why someone may not want to do something like you don't want to kill someone because someone may kill you. I believe that is the equivalent of hell preaching for atheists. Such a statement does not prove that the universe is not supposed to allow murder patiently awaiting a response and he leaves a, uh, a clip for mad tv where they do a bit on an and like an atheist church um which was funny i will grant it was funny however um <laughs> the real funny part was that it made christians look really stupid because that's kind of the way we see your church because when you're praying to nothing and you're going to die and go to nowhere that's pretty much the truth, and that's what you're actually doing. So, I don't know. It's kind of a kind of a slap back in your own face. Anyway, right after that, I got another message, and I'm going to do it on a separate uh, on a on a separate video. But uh, I got another one, and the, and the guy brought up the same thing about morals. What is with these people thinking that atheism can't have morals, or that morals come from religion? Um, rather than going into all that now, let me just read you my reply to this guy. Uh, let me find him here. Uh, there he is. Okay. I say, how cute, my first hate mail. Oh, yeah, I know it's not really hate mail. He wasn't trying to offer him to kill me or nothing, but uh, but still, I ticked him off enough that he felt like he had to come after me. Um, this is an argument that I get often, and yet it holds no water. I don't even see how you think it means anything. While atheists make up the smallest percentage of the prison in the U.S., 0.209%, and Christians are the largest, 83.761%, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. I also remind you that people had morals before the start of Judaism, and other religions and nations also have moral codes that use other religions slash philosophies throughout history. If you ever want to be taken seriously in a debate with an atheist, I suggest you abandon this argument, because besides you... Do you really want to compare my moral code with your Bible? A Bible that condones slavery, forced prostitution, genocide, oppression of women, cruelty, unjust punishment. And that's just a start. The craziest part of your argument is the proof you say I need to suggest that murder is wrong without a God. What proof do you require for laws that aren't in the Bible? The Bible doesn't say anything about drinking and driving, nothing about speeding, nothing about counterfeiting money, nothing about nuclear arms, proper disposal of used car oil, building codes. I can keep going. Religion has always been used as a means of authority over the masses. That much I'll grant you. But now that the government has developed to the point that it has, religion is unnecessary. You no longer have to fear hell. I just realized I did a grammatical error there. Uh, you no longer have to fear hell, you can fear prison. Oh yeah, and God thought the world was flat, the sun revolved around the earth, the bat was a bird, rabbits chewed the cud, whales were fish, and that illness was caused by demons. Your God would have failed a third grade science class, so much for all knowing. I hope this helps you understand more about human nature and history. Sincerely, King Heathen. P.S. Look up the definition of hypocritical. Your use of it wasn't proper. P.S.S. 
Uh, if you don't mind, I'll read this out loud in my next video, which I've just done for you. Um, getting this a lot, seriously, on other si uh, pages I've seen, a lot of people using this moral thing. Um, that's my argument against it. Do you have anything better? Love to hear your responses. Send them to me. Thanks.